Hello guys, it's Spark31 here. Um, today I have for you something that took me about three or four hours, and um, this right here is a full color 5x5 five five pixel, although you could make it bigger, 5x5 five five pixel redstone TV. Now it also has a, um, well first let me turn it on. So right now, whenever you turn it on it'll say welcome back, and um, it'll flash through all of the uh, pictures on that TV, just pretend that's TV stuff. That's that's movies. Yep. It's awesome. But <laughs> let's pretend that's, that's not a movie for a second. And um, then we can switch to um, a different channel using the channel button, um, which is a swiftness potion. And then that changes the channel to what this is here, the emoticon channel. Um, Right now I have programmed in three. I could program in more. I just didn't feel like doing all the work. This is the Minecraft channel. <laughs> so, um, and then I can turn it off when I'm done watching, which makes the screen black, and then it tells you goodbye. Now, if you guys want to see how this works, I'm going to come back here. This is all the redstone over here. Now, this over here isn't necessary, but it'll, all, it'll help me show what this does. So, f the first section right here is this red section. So, first of all, we've got ourselves a comparator clock going right here that uh, is constantly switching on and off. And so, the first thing this does is it's, um... Well, the first thing I need to explain is, first of all, let me find the correct command block. No, that's not it. I'm trying to remember which command block is there. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah. Uh, no. Wait. It's this one. So basically, every time... Just to explain this better, let me go to the channel section. So every time I use what this command block does here, um, this command block... This command block tests for a slowness effect, and if it does, it takes that effect away. So, whenever I use the uh, Swiftness Potion, it powers the add, at, uh, it adds one to everyone's channel score um, in the world. Now what that does is it, um, well, it adds one to the channel score, which, as you can see, every time I use the Splash Potion, it goes up by one. But, um... What this command block here does is, whenever it hits 4, because I only have 3 channels here, whenever the score number here, um, the uh, channel score, hits 4, it sets the channel score back to 1, so that it loops continuously every time you use it. So as you can see, whenever I go to uh, fourth channel 4, it switches automatically back to 1. Um, so, that's not it. Um, what, next I have an on-off system, which I'm going to show using this command block here. The on-off score is now toggled. Um, right here, what this does is it... Oh, I need to go over this one first. This one, it tests for the slowness effect or the power button. So whenever I use the power button, it toggles between them. Now how this works is it tests for the signal, then it uses this, which is a... Uh, T flip flop designed by someone I don't remember his username, but I will link his channel in the description. And he made a uh, T flip flop that was just a command block and a comparator. Um, if you want to see how that works, go over to his channel. So every time I use the uh, power button, it toggles that comparator. Now what this does is um, I have a uh, it go it's going into this block. Whenever it's powered, it goes into this thing that set, uh, sets uh, the variable onf, ONF, which is the on-off variable over uh, on the right side. Um, and that is the um, variable, so to speak. Uh, it sets it to zero whenever um, the, it, the comparator is on, basically. So, also it will say goodbye, which means it's turning off. Because um, the TV is on whenever on-off on is set to 1. Uh, sorry, the TV is on when on-off is set to 1, and is off when on-off is set to 0. 
So it'll say goodbye because that's the, uh, what it's supposed to say whenever it's off. Then this command block, it, this one will invert the signal, and so whenever the comparator is off, which means um, if I use the power button again, it'll switch there. It will first of all set on off to one, which turns the TV on, and it will say welcome back, um, which is what it's supposed to say. So right here, what this does is um, actually that's not it. Where is that command block? I think it was this one. So, what this one do is doing is it's testing for a on-off score of zero, and so what that does is if it finds an on-off score of zero, which is going to do, oops, that's the channel button, the on-off is zero, first of all it'll say goodbye because it says that up there, but what this does is it replaces, um, if I come back over here, it replaces the screen, whatever is on it, to zero with a uh, black wool which is what that command does. So next, how do I switch between each of the frames? What I have right here is I have a timer going right here, a four tick timer, and so what it does is um, I have a variable called channel time. I have a variable called channel time, and it is slowly counting up every time this command block gets powered. So it adds one to everyone's score, channel time, every time this thing is powered by this repeater. Um, now, it only is limited to 10 because like the uh, like the channel itself, channel time, uh, it's testing for a channel time of 10, which once it hits a channel time of 10, it switches over to, um, it sets it back to 1. So, although it does count up to 10, it automatically switches back to 1 after 10, as you can see. Um, so that's the first module, which you need for the TV. And it's pretty compact, it's, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 by 6 by 5, which is pretty nice, pretty nice size. Um, then we have this module, which is, um, pretty much how it switches between the frames. So, first of all, each of these command blocks pretty much does the same thing, just a little bit differently. First off, it's testing for, ev with everyone, a score of on-off of 1, which means the TV has to be on for it to work. It has to have a channel of 1. Each row has a different channel set for it. So, this one if it would be if it's channel 2, this one would be if it's channel 3. This command block would activate, that is. And, um, so it's checking for channel 1 on this one, and then it's also looking for a, uh, channel time, right here, of 1. And each of these increases it by 1, so it's channel time 2, channel time 3, channel time 4. And so if I can switch the, uh, channel to, if I can change the channel to 1, I can show how this works. Actually, is it on? Is it on? Yeah, there we go. So now that the channel is one, as you can see, it's going down because the channel time keeps on changing every second, and it changes these. Uh, they're activating because the channel time is changing. And so what these are doing is these are cloning this section right here all the way over into here while it's running. So all the frames that you see up here are really just this block cloned over and over and over each one going. So when channel time is one, this one is this frame right here is cloned over. When channel time is two, this frame right here is cloned over. And the same thing is done for channels two and three because um, this block is for channel two, this block is for channel three, and then each of the rows correspond to the, uh, a different channel. So this one corresponds to channel two, so whenever you switch the channel to two, um, like I'm about to do right here, it moves it up to the top, this up to the top. Um, one reason I decided to use channel time and, uh, instead of maybe like a piston pushing something down, allowing a repeater to go through, the reason I'm using channel time is because it kind of emulates real TV. Um, with real TV, if I come over here, with uh, real TV, 
if I turn the power off, uh, it'll go to black. But when I turn it back on, it might be on the same channel, but it won't be at the start of the uh, sequence. Like, um, the, otherwise that would be like a DVR recording each of the uh, episodes or whatever that you would be watching. Instead, this is more real time, um, even when it's off. So, also, um, it, it's at the same place no matter when I change the channel. It, this part's a little bit hard to explain why it's like a real TV, but basically, if you watch closely, whenever I switch the channel, oh, right now it's on, let's just go to channel one, it'll be easier to explain. So you see how the uh, repeater, or the comparator, is at the back and it's coming forward? If I use another one to switch it to channel two, it's on the exact same place on the second row. Um, if that explains it any better. So, um, this is the Redstone TV. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thanks for watching.